Hey guys, Shane with Just for Kicks here, and I got a another unboxing video. I've actually got a couple of videos I'm trying to make this weekend. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I can get at least one of those other ones uh, filmed and edited so that uh, it's not just a channel full of unboxings. But I got a couple of things in, and I wanted to unbox them for you guys, show you what I got. So we'll start with this one. Let's go ahead and open it up here. I got this one from Amazon. And I believe it was on sale. So just got some some paperwork, got warranty. That's probably uh, shipping information. And then the actual piece here. We'll just go ahead and cut this open. And guys, it's just a little four inch vise there. Hold it up here to the camera, put off this plastic here. It's just a cheap little four inch vise. Get it in frame here. The uh, bottom swivels, which is awesome, exactly what I wanted. And then of course the, these open up. And it opens pretty good. Got your uh, nice little metal deals. They do have the screws, it looks like, in there. There's some kind of a, oh, they're just Phillips um, in there. So you can take these off and put other grips on there if you'd like. Has a little small anvil, uh, probably about two inch by inch and a half, maybe, maybe a little bit bigger than that. Just nice little vise, uh, about 27 bucks on Amazon, um, what I paid for it. It's going to work for the needs that I uh, have um, without a problem. So that's very cool. Uh, nice little swivel action on the bottom. That'll work great. I'm fairly excited about that. Um, then we've got this other box here. This one I got from Harbor Freight. Um, this was on sale. I believe that vice was actually on sale for $27. $27 even. Um, so, packing material. Uh, first thing I got, uh, I believe that's, yeah, pack of 10 40 grit metal cutoff wheels, four and a half inch. Let me get it in the frame there. So, about that, guys. Um, awesome. And then I, you can probably guess what the other thing is is a cheap angle grinder. Um, it's got a little bit of damage on the box. That worries me a little bit. Uh, there's just a couple of pieces of paper in the box. Not fancy. Um, let's open this up. That worries me a little bit that it has that um, gouge on there. Oh, it just looks like where the angle grinder poked through. Right there. So, got some tools and a handle. Got your trusty paperwork and an angle grinder. So this, um, guys, this is a $20 angle grinder. Um, I got it for $13 on Harbor Freight. They had a sale going on on these things. Um, so uh, it was $13 and I said to myself, I need one of these, I don't have one. I'm just going to buy this cheap one, no more than I'm going to use it. Um, should be perfectly good enough for what I need it for. Um, let me go ahead and put it together. So we got the uh, wrench for putting on the um, wheels. And then of course just this handle that screws in. And it looks like it screws into either side. I don't really know. I think I'll probably want it on this other side for ease of use. But it is ambidextrous, so that's awesome. And then you just put the wheel on, you just press this little red button down. It's a little bit difficult to do on camera here. Yeah, there we go. There we go. 
And basically when you push that red button down, it locks this so that it can't turn and you can actually turn that. Alright, let me open up my pack of wheels. So I got a pack of 10. They look like pretty good wheels. They're 40 grit, so they should saw through some stuff fairly easy. So what you do is just place this on there. As so. And then we'll have to press this button down. And it kind of the way it works is as you turn it, the button will press a little bit further down and you can tighten it up. Good and tight. Wow. So you guys probably just heard that. Uh, a couple of pieces just fell off my brand new dill. And I believe I lost a spring when it happened. I don't even know how that happened. Alright guys, so that's a bit disappointing. Um, lost a couple of pieces looks like. I uh, found the, one of the pieces, but I lost something. So this piece just fell out. I mean, it was $13, so what do you expect? Uh, so now I'm going to try to find the piece that I lost. No telling where that's at. Let's see if I can't get it working. Um, I mean, right now it's all right because the blade's already on there and it's good and tight. But um, when I want to remove that blade, it's going to be a pain without all the pieces. Uh, it won't be too bad, other than the fact that this piece keeps falling out. I can't stick it back in there and make it work. A um, little bit disappointed in that, but like I said, it was $13. What do you expect for a $13 deal? Um, out of curiosity, I'm going to grab a extension cord. Let's just fire this baby up and see if she even works. Um, like I said, the box was damaged. I wouldn't have thought that would have caused any problems, but... And, um, no would be the answer. She don't even work. Nothing. That's really disappointing. Even for a $13 deal, it ought to just work out of the dead gun box. 